Hello everyone! In today's tip video, we're going to show you a new method to create a ruled feature based on two chains in wire EDM. In some cases, a ruled feature cannot be created based on a selection of a solid body or faces. This may be because faces are not ruled or there are some other problems with the solid in general. Many users in this situation do not know how to create a ruled feature, so this video will explain how to build a ruled feature based on two chains. First, we will create a new layer for cross-section geometry. Then, we have to translate the work plane to a suitable location, Z-level, on the part where we can make a cross-section. Next, we will go to the Geometry Toolbar, select Features, Part Profile, then the Cross Section. Pick the solid and click on OK. Now, we will move the work plane to a different point on the part. Again, go to the Geometry Toolbar. Select Features, Part Profile, and Cross Section at Z Level. Then click OK. At this point, we don't need the solid anymore. We have the start point. Now, let's switch to XYZ Plane. Select both profiles by holding both Shift and Control keys and click on the first, then the second profile. Then click Auto Chain to create the chains. We then have to synchronize the feature's start points. To do that, we switch to Top View, select one of the chains, and go into the Property window to move the start point. Click on the arrow and select a point on the first profile. We will take the same steps to move start point of the second chain. We also need to connect two profiles with at least one segment. Now, we are ready for our ruled feature. Select two chains, the segment and wire thread point. Go to Features, click on Draft Features Recognition. Check the settings and click OK. Now we have created our ruled feature for our EDM 4-axis contouring operation. That concludes today's tip video. I hope you all enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe to our newsletter, share this and our other videos, and stay tuned for future tips and tricks.